it's Meg from Homeschool Game School here, and I want to bring you an in-depth look at Rooster Race, the high-low game of foul fun by Rooster Fin Games. But first, I need to apologize for any shakiness in the screen or background noise that you hear. Uh, this is real life. I've got kids on the other side of the door. My tripod is broken. My backup tripod cannot be found anywhere. And we've got fans going because it is warm here in Southern California right now. So please pretend that you don't know, notice any of that, and let's get started. And when you open the game, this is what you're gonna find. You're gonna find some information about Rooster Finn Games and their website, and you're gonna find the instruction sheet. Notice how it's just one page, only three directions. This is a wonderful game to give your child to help them be a little bit more independent. And then the game itself consists of a deck of numbered cards. They have rooster race on the back, and then each one features a chicken and a number. The numbers go between 1 and 15. And if you look at the chicken along the way, he kind of grows up. He starts as an egg in card number 1, and then by card number 15, he's a freewheeling adult chicken. Then you have the corn tokens. Uh, these are what you earn, and these are what you give as a penalty in the game. And that is all you need to get started with Rooster Race. So we're gonna go ahead, get a game set up, and take you on a little playthrough. So here we have the game all set up for you. Now for the one player game, you're only gonna deal yourself 15 cards. The more players you have, the more cards you're dealt, refer to the instructions. So you turn the first card over, and the entire point of the game is to guess if this card is higher or lower than 12. Because the cards only go up to 15, I know it's probably a pretty good chance that this is going to be lower. So I'm going to guess lower. Five, absolutely. So I get a corn, put it in my pile. The play would continue through the next players who would play their own deck of cards. But this is the one player version, so it's my turn again. Higher. Oh, see, I was wrong. It's a four, so my corn has to go back. Higher. Eight. Oh, I win a corn. Um, lower. Twelve. Oh no, my corn goes back. If you ever hit a tie, if you pick the same card twice in a row, then nothing happens. You just move on to the next player. You win the game when someone has all of the corn or when all of the corn is gone and one person has more of it. So basically, whoever has the most corn at the end of the round wins. There is no winner in a one player game, of course. You're just playing that for speed, for drill practice. Now, if you want to adapt this game for younger players, it's pretty easy to do so. All you have to do is help them count. A number line would be very helpful. When my kids were younger, I would tape a number line to the bottom of their table or tray, desk, whatever they were working on. So that's helpful. You could also color in dots, almost like if you were to draw a die on here, and the child could count the numbers and then decide which is bigger or smaller. That's a really great way that you could skew it down, possibly even to three years old, or even for kids who just need some more practice with counting and number identification. This is a great fast game. It's gonna run you probably 16 to $20 on Amazon. Keep your eye posted on Facebook for deals because I got this with the promotional code and it came to just a few pennies over $7 after tax. Definitely a game worth paying $7 for. Uh, it's very simple, very fast, expected to take between five and 10 minutes to play, depending on how familiar your child is with the numbers in the game. So that's it for Rooster Race. I hope you enjoyed this review. Sorry again about all the little background noises and camera shakiness. We're gonna work on that real soon. And be sure to visit us at homeschoolgameschool.com where you can get in-depth reviews of games just like this. You can get hooked up with our Facebook groups as well for more conversation. Have a really wonderful day and we'll see you on another review. 